Let's talk about multi-mono plugins. On a stereo track, you will have two categories for inserts, the multi-channel plugin and the multi-mono version. For almost any plugin, you will have a multi-channel version as well as a multi-mono version, like the 7-band EQ. Now this only holds true for stereo or multi-channel tracks. If it's a mono track, you will only have one category, which will be the mono or the mono to stereo plugin. Okay, so what exactly is this multi-mono plugin? Let's insert a multi-mono EQ on this stereo acoustic guitar track. Multi-mono essentially lets you process each channel separately. Here we are looking at the left channel, but I can switch that to the right and have completely different EQ settings for it. Now by default, the two are linked with the switch, but I can turn that off. So now on the left channel, I can make some changes. And on the right, I have completely different settings. And as you can see, the left channel still retains the changes I made. Now, how is this useful? Well, the stereo acoustic guitar part was actually recorded with two different microphones. So it would make sense to EQ them differently. Let's have a listen. I'm going to push up the gain on the right channel a bit. Let's look at the left channel. How about a low cut? some high shelving. Okay, not bad. Now on the right channel, I'll drop the high shelf. Maybe boost the low mids a bit. A bit more subtle low cut on this side. Cool. So now we have created different EQs for the two channels of this guitar recording. We've also made the stereo image a bit wider because of the EQing. This is actually a great way to create some widening in your mix. Just have subtle differences in EQ on either channel and the mix sounds a lot wider. Cool. So that's how you can make use of multi-mono inserts.